Hey guys, Corey Fiasco and Steve Porter here at the Cantina. Am I saying that right? Yeah, the La Cantina uh, at San Angel. So you got the San Angel table service inside Mexico and then the La Cantina San Angel here. That's the quick service. Uh, we're going to be doing this today for the next episode of our Disney dining show. It's been a minute since we've really done anything quick service. So I think this will be good. Uh, this is the, uh, personally a location that I do that I do enjoy a bit. I haven't been here in a long time. Last time I was here, I saw a man continue to eat nachos after a bird with like the long beak was eating them. So I've kind of been turned off by this place for like yeah. two years. Uh, so I'm excited. To, I mean, it wasn't the restaurant's fault, so I'm excited to come back. Well, let's hope that no birds get into our food today. And then uh, we also have my wife Haley here with us and we'll see if uh, we can get her to talk about her food a little bit too. All right, so we just sat down with our food. Uh, for a little starter, we got the, not, the the chips and guac. It's called the guacamole with tapatos, tatapopos. I don't know if I to say that, but you get the picture. It's chips and guac. Uh, this was eight ninety five. Honestly, a little bit expensive for for chips and, and salsa. Uh, it was good, but it was nothing like for for nine bucks. I would expect it to like be really really good. And it's just, it's just pretty good. Um, but it, it, it was all right, just a little overpriced. Uh, for my actual meal though, I got the tacos de barboca, which is the shredded beef tacos with some red salsa sauce in it. That is $13.75. Uh, that came with rice and beans. I chose to substitute uh, the beans for just double rice. And I think this is really good. Um, I actually come here quite often and this is one of my go-to quick service spots in the World Showcase. And I think this entree in particular is up there for some of my favorite uh, favorite quick service items that you can really get. And I think for, uh, for 14 bucks, it's actually a pretty fantastic value. You get the three tacos there with the side of, uh, side of beans and rice, and I'm always full after I eat that. And it, it, it tastes really like really good quality, uh, really good quality food. Uh, this is of course across from uh, the San Angel Inn, which is the sit-down restaurant in, in the Mexico Pavilion, which I've actually never eaten at. It's one of the only restaurants in the World Showcase I haven't eaten at for the sit-down restaurants. And I've heard, uh, I've heard a lot of mixed things about that place. But as far as the quick service here, which is actually the Cantina San Angel, so it's uh, the same branding as that, as that sit-down restaurant, I'd, I'd put it amongst the best quick services here in the World Showcase. But let's hear what uh, Steve has to say. So I got the empanadas con queso. Full disclosure, I thought I was ordering enchiladas, not empanadas. I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I just kind of blanked on that. Uh, but empanadas are also good. So um, these empanadas in particular, I thought were, uh, I think, fair for quick service. I thought, uh, you know, you can't go wrong with uh, carbs wrapped around a protein, meaning, you know, the, like the crusted shell with cheese in the middle. That's always good. Same thing goes for like ravioli or like anything like that, tortellini, like anything that has carbs with the protein on the inside, always delicious. Um, so these were $12.25, uh, fried flour tortilla filled with cheese, topped with sour cream, salsa verde, and uh, queso. Uh, and then it also came with the Mexican slaw. The Mexican slaw is not my favorite. Uh, there's a, it's very oniony, uh, and I like onions, but I don't like when it's like mostly onion. That's just it's just too much. Um, the empanadas themselves were a little soggy on the bottom. Oh, I just hit the mic. Uh, they were a little soggy on the bottom. I think maybe just they were under like a heat lamp, maybe for a hot minute or something. I don't know. Uh, but for whatever reason, that, that wasn't the best texture-wise. But the flavor, uh, you know, with just was cheese. So you can't go wrong with that. So um, melted cheese is always delicious. Um, overall, I think for twelve twenty-five, I think this was a good option. I think I wish it came with like, I don't know. I wish I had some more 
like meat or something, but that that's not what empanadas are. So I don't know. I, I think I just ordered the wrong thing because I thought I was getting enchiladas, but that is what it is. So overall, I thought that was good. All right, so I got the chicken tacos. It's tacos di polo, and that was thirteen twenty five. Well, I'm pretty sure. And so overall, okay, well, I really liked. I get this all the time here, and just a little. Um, FYI, the chicken is a little chewy. If you can look past that, then fine. But I actually really enjoyed this, and I really, really enjoyed the chips and guac. I am a huge fan of chips and guac, so I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, overall, that was pretty good. All right, just wrapped up our little lunch here at uh, La Cantina in the Mexico Pavilion. Uh, I'll start out with you, Steve. What did you What did you think? Uh, overall, I think that this place is not a it's not a bad value. Uh, I think they have a lot of good options. I probably would have gotten the taco trio if I uh, didn't realize what I was ordering. If I understood correctly, uh, but my empanadas were fine. They were good. They're I mean, like I said, they were a little soggy, but otherwise good. Um, I will just say a couple of the things they have here. They have the pollo casa bell, which is grilled chicken, rice, uh, corn, and spicy tomato sauce. They have, uh, a, you know, a, a, a beef taco, a chicken taco, a fish taco, and then they have the uh, taco trio. They have the empanadas, nachos, the guacamole and, and, and chips like we had, and uh, ensalada mexicana, which is uh, like a salad, like a Mexican salad. Uh, but no then, enchiladas. No enchiladas, unfortunately. Uh, kids menu, they have uh, empanadas con queso, chicken tenders, uh, chicken tacos, and macaroni and cheese. Uh, so, yeah. Well, I mean, you didn't get that, huh? Yeah, I, mm. yeah, I should have. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think that they, there's a decent amount of options. I, you know, I, your tacos look good. I probably yeah. would order them the next time. Um yeah, I, the only thing that's a, a, a bummer about this location, there's no inside seating. So on a day like today, it's yeah. like 93 degrees today. So it's very warm out. Um, but, you know, that that is what it is. There's just going to be some places that have outside seating and that's it. Another place to keep it. Another thing to keep in mind is this place does get relatively busy and the seating is also relatively limited. So uh, there is a potential and I've had this experience happen to me and Haley before when we ate here is we got our tray of food but there was actually no table available to sit at so that's one thing to keep in mind uh, if you're really trying to get in and out quick meal um, you might have some some hiccups there but all things considered I do think this place is really good my beef tacos like they always are were really really tasty uh, and I think for 13 bucks it's a pretty good deal uh, Haley's on the camera right now but uh, she like she was saying uh, her chicken was good but it is a little what was the word he used? Chewy. chewy. She was said a little chewy. So if that kind of kind of turns you off on uh, on chicken, then maybe maybe stick with the the beef nacho, the beef tacos, which which I nachos tacos. It's hot out today. Okay, yeah, our, my, our brains are melting. <laughs> it's been like a hundred degrees. It's not a hundred today. It's in the nineties, but the past two days have been like a hundred degrees. It's hot. We're in the sun. My words are being jumbled, but that's not really an excuse. They get jumbled on a normal basis, anyways. <laughs> but. Uh, if I wanted to rate this place on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm probably going to have to put it at a 9, or not a 9, uh, an 8.5. Um, I think the thing that I get all the time, the, uh, the beef tacos are really, really stinking good. But like I said, the nachos or the chips and guac felt a little overpriced. And uh, also the seating issue, it can, it can be an issue. But uh, what, what do you think? Steve? I'd say an eight. Uh, you know, uh, it, probably if I ordered the right thing, that's you know maybe that's this is a little bit skewed because so it's a little bit of my own fault. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a, a good value. It's you know r right centrally located, right as you're going into the World Showcase. So if you know you spent the morning in uh, Future World and then right at lunchtime or right around the the entrance of World Showcase this is a great first stop. You know, maybe to get some food in your stomach before you have some drinks as you continue on. So, all right, cool. Well, that is going to do it for this week's episode of the Disney Dining Show. Thanks for joining us at La Cantina, and we'll see you in the next one.